Hello, I am Seamus Dunahoo of EVE University, and this is episode 21 of How to Survive EVE Online. While waiting for the last video to process, I decided I'd go mining some kernite. Uh, so I have 1,319 kernite now. I'm just going to refine this stuff. So now I've got some minerals in case I need them. Uh, I'm going to talk to Vermeer. Uh, I'm going to actually turn in the ninth step of the industry chain and request the last mission of the chain. And he, this is technically a trade mission. He just wants one unit of Navitas frigate. He doesn't care how you get it. Now, the shortcut, obviously, is to just hand him the Navitas frigate that Leut Mencier gave you. You didn't get it blown up, I hope, so you still have it lying around. Uh, if it has been destroyed under whatever circumstances, you can right-click the Navitas icon, select View Market Details, and you can buy a Navitas frigate here in station. Usually, somebody will be selling some. Uh, the other thing you can do, the agent gives you a blueprint for a Navitas. If you left-click the icon, that will show info, and you can see the Bill of Materials. Notice that... Hold on, let me right-click my hangar and stack everything. Let me right... Uh, notice that you're going to need Tritanium. You're going to need Pyrite. You're going to need Mexilon. I managed to get some Mexilon from the Kernite I just mined. You're also going to need Isogen. I also got that from the Kernite I just mined. You will also need Noxium and Zytrine. These you will probably have to buy off of the market trying to find the asteroids to mine, uh, to refine into Noxium and Zytrine would take you quite some time. Additionally, Zytrine is not available from any ast from any of the celestial asteroid belts in high security space. So, if you want to buy the minerals off the market, you just right-click the mineral, view market details, and you can buy them. Somebody will probably be selling them in station. Possibly for an elevated price, you might be able to get a lower price elsewhere in the region. You already know how to do a manufacturing job. Keep in mind, though, that this is a ship, and the manufacturing time is going to be 1 hour 23 minutes. At least it's 1 hour 23 minutes in my case. So, that would take some time. Personally, I'm just going to take the short... So those are your three methods. Hand them the nata Navitas you have, buy a Navitas off the market, or use the blueprint and buy the minerals you're missing. I'm just going to hand him the extra Navitas I have. The cargo capacity warning is in case you need to move a Navitas around in the cargo hold of another ship. A repackaged frigate takes up 2,500 cubic meters. Uh, your own Navitas, even if you've got expanded cargo holds, you're only getting up to 340 cubic meters. So I'm going to complete the mission. That completes the industry chain. Uh, I'm not going to end the episode quite yet, because there is one thing I've been neglecting. Skill training is a very slow process. It's time-dependent. It runs in the background, and as long as you keep your skills... Uh, as long as you keep something in the queue, you'll always be training something. You're slowly accumulating different skill points. You've got 8,000 in electronics, 8,000 in survey, 1,415 in targeting, 28, 29 in energy grid upgrades, 42, 43 in energy management, uh, 4,115 in energy systems operation, 8,000 in engineering. You can go to your character sheet and look up here. You have 121,000 skill points, or at least I have 121,000 skill points right now. Okay. As a new player without implants, you are probably generating roughly... Uh, 30 skill points per minute, which is 1,800 skill points an hour, which is about 43,200 skill points per day. Uh, that will get faster as you plug in implants, and if you eventually remap to something that's useful to you. There is a problem. If your pod is destroyed, that is, if you are pod killed, your brain is scanned by the transneural a uh, brain scanner mounted on the back of your head and will transmit all that neural information to a waiting medical clone. 
Alright, your clone, however, only has a certain capacity for skill points. You start off with a clone grade alpha, that's 900,000 skill points. If you are pod killed and your medical clone has a greater capacity for skill points than the skill points you actually have, you're in good condition. If you've got more skill points than your clone can handle, you lose 5% of the excess. So let's suppose you manage to get up to a million skill points, and then you decide, made a mistake and decided you would try going through the, Lan the Rancer low security shortcut pipe, and you got blasted to smithereens and pod killed by the player pirates who live there. If you have a million skill points and your clone only covers 900,000, well, that's 100,000 in excess. You lose 5% of that excess, so you'd lose 5,000 skill points in that case. Right. 5,000 divided by 30 skill points per minute for a new player, that means you're losing about mm, a little under 3 hours, about 166 minutes worth of skill training. Whenever you are pod killed, you are given a new clone grade alpha for free. You will probably wake up in a station with a medical facility, left click the medical button, and you can see what kind of medical clone you have. If you're getting close to 900,000 skill points, you may want to click the upgrade clone button and select one of the clones with a higher capacity. So starting off, you may switch up to a clone grade beta as you get close to 900,000. Uh, my main character is up to about, oh, getting close to 32 million skill points, so I've recently switched to a clone grade Omicron. You can also change the location of your medical clone. That is, you can lo change the location where you wake up in case you are killed. You never changed your medical clone location, so that's back over in Sistavere three jumps away. Let's change the station. Click the Change Station button, go to Stations with Cloning Facilities, click... Uh, where is Clonon? Left-click Clonon, and click OK. And it only costs you 5600 ISK to move your medical clone, regardless of how many skill points you have. So now our medical clone is here in Clonon. So if we get pod killed for whatever reason, uh, you will wake up here. NPCs should not be pod killing you. They will not deliber tar deliberately target pods. I suppose it's possible that an NPC equipped with smart bombs might be targeting somebody else and pod kill you by accident. But I'm really not aware of any NPCs that carry smart bombs. Players can pod kill you. So just be aware of that. So anyway, that covers medical clones. Always make sure your medical clone is up to date. Remember, whenever you are pod killed, the first thing you should be doing is going to the medical facility and upgrading your medical clone, because you only start off with a new clone grade alpha when you are pod killed. So your clone grade alpha will have to be re-upgraded all over again every time you die. Keep that in mind. In the next episode, we will finish up the business chain. In the meantime, thank you for watching.